What's up, everybody? Today we are reviewing this lens. It's the Sigma 17 to 55 f 2.8 aperture EX DC optical stabilizer lens for APS-C cameras. This lens is currently mounted on this here Canon ADD. All right, let's see what's in the box. So in the box we have a very nice carrying case, some warranty paperwork, and instruction manual. I'm not gonna be reviewing any of that. Inside the carrying case, we have what would be the lens, but the lens is on the camera. But it does come with a very nice lens hood. I've used this a couple times now. Very nice that this comes with the lens. As for the case, case is great quality, nice foam, nice zipper. Inside is all lined. Thumbs up. Good job, Sigma. All right, so let's actually see what the lens looks like now. Woohoo! Now, ain't she pretty? This is what it looks like when it comes out of the box. Got your lens hoods here, you just twist off. So there it is, the 17 to 50 F 2.8. That's right, 2.8. Your standard kit lens that comes with this camera and many other APS-C cameras, 18 to 55, cannot touch this. This is two times more light at 17 or 18 millimeters and four times the amount of light when you're all the way zoomed out at 50 millimeters or 55. 77 millimeters so it's kind of a big lens. It's a little bit heavy. It's not too bad. I don't mind it. I kind of like a heavier camera because I feel like it it definitely helps me steady. Really nice looking glass. As you have your uh, optical stabilizer button switch on and off. Manual autofocus button. One thing to say is this lens can only lock when it's down in the 17 millimeter position. You can extend it, but you can't lock it up here. It won't lock. It'll only lock down here. The zoom ring is pretty smooth. It's no Canon L lens, but it's not bad. The focus ring does not have much throw. It's pretty smooth. As you can see, it's also external. So when this is in autofocus, this moves. So that's one downfall of this lens. Almost every lens is internal, so this is a little bit old school. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's kinda loud too. For pictures, it's not a problem. When you're taking video and you're vlogging in a quiet room, uh, you can definitely hear this even with a shotgun mic. I have a shotgun mic on my Canon 80D, and even with that, you can hear this thing finding focus. Uh, it's actually in the beginning of this video, you can hear it. Also, another thing, when you shake this, it makes a noise. That's actually the OS inside. I'm not crazy impressed with this OS. It's nice for pictures, but if you're going to, to do video and vlog and try to take a nice real cinematic you really need to have a steady hand because this OS kind of bounces and uh, it's not the best. All right, let's get this thing back on the camera. Bam! All right, much better. So let's do a little review. The BADS external focus ring, it kind of gets in the way. It's not a game changer for me. The noise from the, from the focus ring bothers me a little bit, but it's not a game changer. It's a tiny bit heavy the little bit of wobble that you get from the OS. So let's talk about the goods. The 2.8 aperture, it has image stabilization or OS for Sigma. And for the price, what other lens can you get that has image stabilization or optical stabilization? The only one that I can think of is the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter, but it has a really high f-stop. The image quality is fantastic for taking pictures and for videos. The price, you cannot beat the price of this lens. I got it a couple months ago, it was on sale. I got it for like $270. I'm not gonna lie, I'm losing my light. Uh, I use my windows a lot and it's starting to get a little late. In the comments, someone recommend some lighting for me, some cheaper lighting. 
I'll buy it and do a review on it. Works for both of us. So do I recommend this lens? Absolutely. Great image quality, video quality. For the price, I don't feel like anything else touches it. All right, well, I'm gonna show you some pictures and roll some B-roll. Everything straight off of this lens. And I hope this was helpful because I'm going to do, uh, do these every week. So, thank you. Like this video and get subscribed. I'm going to put it right here. Thanks for watching, people. Going to do tech reviews every Tuesday. I don't know why I did it too.